Every day, technology advances by the second, and it has gone beyond having mobile phones and laptops to having robots and many advanced machines. Do you know where most of these advanced machines are used? Farming and agriculture are the future for income earning, and what better way to make the job easier than the use of advanced technology? In today's video, we are going to show you advanced technology for the farming of the future. Precision agriculture technology. Just like technology advances by the second, agriculture itself is undergoing some form of evolution and technology is being adopted on every commercial farm and traditional agriculture company. Farming technology companies are developing precision technologies that allow farmers to maximize yields by controlling every variable of crops such as moisture levels, pest stress, soil conditions, and microclimates. This precision technology increases efficiency and manages the cost for farmers by providing more accurate techniques for planting and growing crops. Precision agriculture Agriculture companies have found a huge opportunity to grow. A recent report by Grandview Research Incorporated predicts the precision agriculture market to reach $43.4 billion by 2025. The emerging new generation of farmers is attracted to faster, more flexible startups that systematically maximize crop yields. How about we check out some of the precision tools that are being made? GIS based agriculture. One thing that affects a farmer's field is that they have no idea what will happen in the soil. You know, the temperature, the moisture, and how it will affect the plant's health and growth. With technology shaping agriculture, this will no longer be an issue. The GIS software is a terrific tool that helps with precision farming. The GIS software assists farmers in mapping out current and future changes in precipitation, temperature, crop yields, plant health, and many more. This isn't all about this software. It also helps farmers conserve their money, effort, and time. Here's how. Without this tool, farmers wouldn't be able to map out what what part of the field to treat. However, with the aid of the GPS-based applications in this software, farmers can now optimize fertilizer and pesticide applications. It makes the job 10 times easier as the farmers only have to apply into certain areas, which the GPS application will help them map out. In simpler terms, GIS-based agriculture is the application of satellites and drones to collect valuable data of vegetation, soil condition, terrain, and weather from an ultimate view. This data assists the farmer and improves his accuracy in deciding for the farm. Farm automation. This technology simply automates the crop or livestock production cycle and, in that way, makes farming more efficient. These new advanced technologies include autonomous tractors, robotic harvesters, drones, automatic watering, computer vision software, and seeding robots. Altogether, these modern technologies have transformed modern agriculture for the better. The technologies may be fairly new, but the industry has seen quite an increasing number of traditional agriculture companies use farm automation and include it in their farming process. It's only right that traditional agriculture companies adopt this farming process because farming automation technology simply makes farming a lot easier and more enjoyable. Although some of the farm automation listed above are new, here are some that farmers have already adopted into their day-to-day -day life on the farm. Harvest automation, autonomous tractors, seeding and weeding, and drones. With the help of these farm automation, traditional agriculture companies can now address issues like shortages in farm labor, changes in consumer preferences, a rising global population, and the environmental footprint of farming. Farm automation technology will help traditional agricultural farmers tackle these issues as they encounter them. Livestock farming technology. Yes, the crops need technology to put them in order and ensure that they are healthy, but how about the livestock? They're part of the farm too. It's a bit sad that livestock farming isn't fully considered when discussing the future of technology in farming, even though it is equal equally vital. Thankfully, developers also had a plan for them in mind as technology advances by the second. Huge improvements have been made in the livestock farming industry that makes tracking and managing livestock much easier and data-driven. I bet you're wondering what livestock farming technology can do to make livestock farming easier. It enhances and improves the production capacity, welfare, and management of animals and livestock. For example, the connected cow concept. This is simply done by putting individual wearable sensors on on every cow on a farm to monitor health and increase productivity in the animals. It helps keep track of daily activity and health-related issues while providing data-driven insights for an entire herd on a farm. The data being generated is also being turned into meaningful, actionable insights where producers can look quickly and easily to make quick management decisions. You should also know that livestock farming technology can come in different forms, such as nutritional technologies, genetics, digital technology, and more. Thus, they each have 
spread their benefits. Computer vision allows farmers to have in-depth insights of unbiased data. Making a decision on these acquired data leads to better, more efficient, and timely decisions that will advance the productivity of livestock herds. Indoor vertical farming. This is the future of crop development and yield. Indoor farming is the process of growing produce stacked one above another in a closed and controlled environment. This process involves the use of growing shelves that are vertically mounted as they significantly reduce the amount of land space that is required for plant growth in comparison to traditional farming methods. Indoor vertical growing isn't particularly used on commercial farms yet, but it is mostly associated with the city and urban farming, and this is because the plants have the ability to bloom in limited spaces. There are many interesting things about indoor vertical farming that makes it unique. For starters, you should know that some vertical farming does not require soil in order for the plants to grow. Most are either hydroponic, where vegetables are grown in a nutrient-dense bowl of water, or aeroponic, where the plant roots are systematically sprayed with water and nutrients. You should also know that in place of natural sunlight, which helps the plants grow, artificial grow lights are used. One question everyone wants answers to about indoor vertical farming is what the benefits are. They include sustaining urban growth, maximizing crop yield with reduced labor costs, increase in food production with variable harvest. Labor is also greatly reduced by using robots to handle harvesting, planting, and logistics, solving the challenges farms face from the current labor shortage in the agriculture industry. Vertical farming can control variables such as light, humidity, and water to precisely measure year-round. The reduced water and energy usage optimize energy conservation. Vertical farms use up to 70% less water than traditional farms. Modern greenhouses. Greenhouses went from offering botanical gardens to becoming large-scale facilities in competition with land-based planting. The conventional greenhouse is primarily used for research and aesthetic purposes, but modern greenhouses have more to offer these days. Today, the entire global production comprises less than 1%. This means that with the use of modern technology in greenhouses, the industry experiences a breakthrough like it never has in the past. Greenhouses today are increasingly emerging that are large-scale, capital-infused, and urban-centered. Modern greenhouses are becoming increasingly tech-heavy using LED lights and automated control systems to perfectly tailor the growing environment. If you're looking to find a modern-day greenhouse, you should know that successful greenhouses are mostly found near urban hubs. This helps to capitalize on the increasing demand for local food without regard to the season. The greenhouse industry is also becoming increasingly capital-infused to accomplish these feats using venture funding and other sources to build out the infrastructure necessary to compete in the current market. Electrification. With regards to farming, electrification is not just about the use of batteries as the power source for machinery on the farm, but it's about using electrical drives to replace engines and hydraulics. Electric motors have huge torque at low speeds. They're more efficient, more reliable, and lighter. Let's take the e-auto power transmission as an example. The e-auto power is the first continuously variable transmission with an electromechanical power split. Unlike the conventional CVTs, the drive is usually more efficient and reliable. Another special feature is the provision of up to 100 kilowatts of electrical power for external consumption. To demonstrate this, John Deere and Joskin have developed a slurry tanker with two electric drive axles. Thanks to this eight-wheel drive system, a much more efficient transmission of tractive power is possible. This can also reduce slurry incorporation costs by up to 25%. The Zero Emission Compact Utility Trailer is also an example of the future of electrification on farms. A key feature of this machine is its high PTO power, allowing more than 10,000 square miles of lawn to be mowed with one battery charge lasting four and a half hours. In addition to high performance, customers benefit from very low maintenance costs. Potential applications are mainly where low noise levels and emission-free operation are required. If you own a farm, which of these technologies would you want to see adopted into your farm to assist with the growth of your farming? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for this channel. We have loads of exciting content for you.